amidst the noisy and ruthless roadsides of a city that hardly ever comes to a halt, a community of nomads have found for themselves a place to halt and sustain a home which they could never call their own. This is a story of a community exiled from their own kingdom for the sake of respect and dignity. The legend has it, in the 16th century, when the Mughals invaded Rajasthan, gaining control over the Mewad region ruled by Maharana Pratap, this group of blacksmiths who served their allegiance to Maharana's army pledged an oath to never to return to their homeland and never settle anywhere else until Rana's hegemony was restored. Courageous and proud of the land that gave birth to them, they risked their life for name and chose exile over submission to Mughal authority. And so they left in their bullock carts, hoping for a homecoming, but as fate would have it, Marana lost the war. And these people, faithful to their oath, still, after 400 years of historical injustice, carry the hopes of a fate that ends with their return to where they belong. Although people refer to them with different names, such as Gardia Lohars, because they use bullock carts to move around, and other terms like Banjara, Barmuja, and Khana Badosh, they trace their descent from the Rajputs of Chittorgarh. Majority of Gardia Lohar settlements, which are called Bastis, existed in Delhi for only about last 40 years. Before that, they moved around in the villages of neighboring states like Madhya Pradesh, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. A basti usually consists of 10 to 50 family groups living in kacha houses nearby roadsides, which facilitate their earning and livelihood through manufacturing and selling of iron tools and utensils. But with changing times and the ongoing economic crisis, they are compelled to take on other sources of earning by selling diyas and murtis during festive seasons. Some of them have given up their traditional ways of tool making and taken up modern devices to manufacture other iron goods. In spite of all the harsh living conditions, the closely knitted family structure acts as the much needed cause of cohesion. The family structure, although patriarchal in nature, revolves heavily around the women, especially the mother who is highly respected and asked for. The historical oppression faced by the community has been further aggravated by the gross violation of their human rights. And while their future rests on a very thin ice, it forces us to revisit the values that shape our conception of human dignity and its correlation with cultural.